Unit 6. Inserting hyperlinks. It is an amazing day. Nice to see you again. In this meeting we are going to learn how to insert hyperlink on our page. Today I am very much excited for you to learn this topic, so let's get started. HTML links. A link or hyperlink is a connection from one web resource to another. Links allow users to move seamlessly from one page to another. Links are found on nearly all web pages. Links allow users to click their way from page to page. We can use this syntax to insert a hyperlink. The href attribute specifies the target of the link. Its value can be an absolute or relative URL. An absolute URL is a URL that includes every part of the URL format, such as protocol, hostname, and path of the document, for example, https www.google.com, https www.example.com slash form.php. While relative URLs are page relative paths, for example, contact HTML, images may png. A relative URL never includes the HTTP or HTTPS prefix. Anything between the opening anchor tag and the closing anchor tag becomes the part of the link that the user sees and clicks in the browser. Let's check this example. There are three links in this HTML document. The first one is a link using absolute URL. The second one is a link using a relative path. And the last link uses image as a link. By default, links will appear as follow in most of the browsers, an unvisited link is underlined and blue. A visited link is underlined and purple. An active link is underlined and red. However, you can overwrite this using CSS. In this example, we are going to use the style attribute in the head section to change and alter the default color. We know that links are an essential part of a website. It allows visitors to navigate through the site. Therefore styling the links properly is an important aspect of building a user-friendly website. A link has four different states, link, visited, active and hover. These four states of a link can be styled differently through using the following anchor pseudo class selectors. A link, defines styles for normal or unvisited links. A visited, defines styles for links that the user has already visited. A hover, defines styles for a link when the user placed the mouse pointer over it. Active, defines styles for links when they are being clicked. You can specify any CSS property you'd like for example color, font, background, border, etc. to each of these selectors to customize the style of links. Setting the targets for links. The target attribute tells the browser where to open the link document. There are four defined targets, and each target name starts with an underscore, character, blank, opens the link document in a new window or tab. Parent, opens the link document in the parent window. Self, opens the link document in the same window or tab as the source document. This is the default. Hence it is not necessary to explicitly specify this value. Top, opens the link document in the full browser window. Let's try this example. Creating bookmark anchors. You can also create bookmark anchors to allow users to jump to a specific section of a web page. Bookmarks are especially helpful if you have a very long web page. Creating bookmarks is a two step process first, add the it attribute on the element where you want to jump, then use that it attribute value preceded by the hash sign as a value of the href attribute of the anchor tag. Check this example.
You can even jump to a section of another web page by specifying the URL of that page along with the anchor, that is pound element in, in the href attribute, like this. Creating download links. You can also create the file download link in exactly the same fashion as placing text links. Just point the destination URL to the file you want to be available for download. In the following example we've created the download links for a zip, PDF and JPG files. When you click a link that points to a PDF or image file, the file is not downloaded to your hard drive directly. It will only open the file in your web browser. Further you can save or download it to your hard drive on a permanent basis. Good job! You completed this unit. See you on the next topic. Goodbye.